Mr. Beans here. Um, I guess it's been a while since I've been here because that steakhouse I think was called Schmidt's and they had a little cell phone store or something there. It's all gone. Demolished, flattened. Last thing I heard, I think they said the Honda Center wanted to buy it for parking and I see they're building a parking structure down there across the street. So yeah, things have changed a little bit. And anyway, oh, oh nice bike. And um, you know me, I'm just here to play with little gadgets. I got a little tripod thing on that I'm using right now. And so I can, instead of using screws to change the camera to this mount, I have a little magnetic uh, mount there. So I just untwist the GoPro from this tripod, twist and click and twist and click it back on there instead of fighting with screws. So that's pretty cool. It'll be a little something to play with today, but as for myself, I got uh, some bad news last week. The, my A1C was not good, so I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm going to be smart, gonna be strong, keep it in check. Um, done it before to where diet and exercise. I'm not about to take medication. I don't want any kind of side effects. Uh, diet, exercise. This week, <laughs> Man, on the way to work, I would eat, uh, take a little bag of just dried Cheerios and eat them, the plain Cheerios. Uh, that would be my breakfast. And break time, I eat like four wedges of lemon because I can't really have a whole lemon or a whole banana, so I just eat half. And then lunchtime, a small turkey sandwich and a cucumber with vinegar, hardcore apple cider vinegar, of course, red chili powder. And then dinner, just a sensible dinner. I don't know, we had, uh, one day we had tostadas, which is mostly lettuce and a couple of shells. And then we had, uh, I don't remember. Oh yeah, I think we had a little bit of meat with bell pepper and onions and stuff and over a little bit of rice. Cause I'm allowed a cup of rice or potatoes with each meal. So anyway, I just got my results. Um, wow, I really turned into a, getting weak in my old age. See a little, I got a, uh, blood test and it bruised my arm pretty good <laughs> didn't hurt at all but I mean it's just I'm kind of surprised that maybe I guess I'm just getting old and falling apart 61 years old but still I'm not stupid I'm not I'd have to be a fool to let my kidneys fail or get something amputated or something because I didn't want to eat right or exercise so oh heck no that's not me man and I ain't taking no medication I do it the real way the hardcore way I don't know if it's really hardcore it's just more the the natural way the more sensible way the smarter way it's like you know there's something wrong you take care of yourself you don't let stuff get out of hand i knew i'd been eating a little too much and partying and doing all that stuff and celebrating life and all that kind of stuff but when you find out that it catches up with you you need to take care of it i uh nothing was really wrong with me um so but what i did was i, I had my benefits switch back to kaiser and they have all my old records of all my diabetes from back in 2015 and so, so i signed up for them man i got all kinds of emails and text messages all kinds of stuff to come in and take blood tests and check this check that do this do that do whatever so i went not because i felt bad or anything but because knowledge you have to know you have to know what's wrong you have to find out what your numbers are and you have to take care of yourself so I had a great week actually because I ate well and man my stomach is feeling so good it's like I mean it's just like I can't even believe the big difference you know from going out and eating like I wanted to and just having fun and enjoying too much food but the way I felt the last couple days it's like wow it's amazing man I'm like really surprised it's like there's a huge difference in my stomach and I'm feeling better already and it's like Man, as you don't really realize that things are wrong until you change things and fix things, then you're like, wow, I feel great. So life is wonderful. Got two beautiful ladies that care about me, taking care of me, um, watching out for me, got my back, and showing nothing but love and respect. So life couldn't be better. And I didn't work today. I'm like, oh, no, man, I ain't going to work. I need to take care of myself, too. I mean... What is all this money if you don't if you don't have the health and the 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 physical ability to enjoy enjoy things it's like heck no man when i'm 80 if i live that long i still want to be able to walk across the mall and 
go do whatever I want to do. Maybe go jogging if I have to. I mean, if I get tired of cycling, I'll take up jogging or just walking or speed walking or I'll get some of those weird nylon short shorts and <laughs> go walking. But no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, it's a good life. Let's hit the road. All right, let's ride. First time in a long time on the Santa Ana River Trail, so we'll see what happens. I haven't been riding much lately. It was in uh, Las Vegas last weekend, and I don't know what we did before that, but not much riding this month. So I'm gonna try 45 today, see what happens. It feels a little windy, so who knows, could kill me and I could end up with 20. But either way, it's a good day to be on the bike. It's always good to be on the bike. Try something. I'm gonna try the on the fly mount switch. Of course, this little thing has a little tripod where I can squeeze it and turn it, and it comes off. Now let's see if I can get it on the front handlebars. See what's going on. Operation. Got it on, got it off. All right, it works. Foggy at the beach. Not really too many people out here. There's, I don't know what that is, a picnic or something. Not too many people out here, but I'm here. I did see a, when I was down by Weird Canyon, I saw a guy at that little rest stop or bus stop right on the trail at Yorba Park, the regional park. I saw this green jersey with stripe on it. I think it had a stripe, and I was like, that looks familiar. And I was, I was thinking, oh, maybe not. I thought maybe a guy that I knew like 20 years ago out here on the trail would wear a jersey like that. Uh, Pete, Peep and Pete. But um, I wasn't sure. And then when I started, got to Weir Canyon, turned around, headed back, he was going the opposite way with another guy, and I think it was Fozzie. So yeah, it was a trip. I didn't know he'd be out here. But uh, yep. So anyway, cool day at the beach. It feels nice. Had a big headwind on the way up here. Man, I was suffering, but I actually felt good. My heart wasn't working too hard, so or didn't feel like it, but yeah, doing good today. Got a nice uh, effort in. Hopefully, I have a tailwind on the way back, but not too much happening other than that. Did see Ron and Dixie too going the opposite way, starting kind of late, so wasn't expecting them, so I didn't get them on video. But we'll see what happens. All right, let's head back. Six miles. Well, it's kind of a bummer because uh, I did see Ron and Dixie again, but it kind of threw me off because uh, I saw Dr. Sarah go by and I 
was kind of hey what's up and then i like turned my head a little bit and i looked back around and ron and dixie were not too far behind her so i'm like oh great i don't have time to get my recorder out so i missed them that was a bummer well i did 46 miles i didn't feel too bad but i've uh been on the bike maybe like three times in the last month and the longest ride i've done is 40 so today i did 46 just to push myself a little bit and make myself work burn some calories uh didn't feel too bad on the way back i felt my legs kind of tighten up in a couple spots like i was about to get a cramp so i just backed off but actually i did all right i feel pretty good i'm happy i'm happy with it so just another ride